Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Aisha. We're here with Nightmare Projects TV. Uh, this is our first episode we're doing, and we're here with STM Row checking in. Yeah. How you doing today? I'm doing good. You doing it's good? Been, it's, been a, it's been a busy last couple days, but, you know. Yep, I saw y'all just... Playing. Yep, so y'all just got back from L.A., so yeah, yeah. jet lag, probably something yeah. serious right now. Had some good business going on out there, so. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Always good for the good business. But we about to get into a little bit into your business a little bit. Okay. So I know I first saw you performing at Wellfed not too long ago, mm -hmm. and I saw you were really repping Jamaica. So you from there, or your family's from there? My whole family, my whole entire family's from Jamaica, everybody. Um. I mean, it's like when you grow up in that culture, like really, right? Both everything, aunties, uncles, grandmas, grand, everybody is Jamaican. So it's like you fully embed that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like I definitely feel you because my family. That's why I'm in talk Jamaican every time. So anybody want act like <laughs> me not that Jamaican, you you have to respect me. Understand? You have to, cause my family's from the Virgin Islands too, both sides of my family. Okay. So I know how that respect. is. So how is that? How do you feel like how you were raised? Cause you know island people is a whole nother people. Right. So <laughs> compared to American people and American families, so how would you say how you were raised? Uh, with the island or being from Jamaica, how did that mold you to who you are today? Uh, I've seen a lot of hard work from day one. Right. Um, trying to trying to make it to just having a decent living in America. You feel what I'm saying? Yep. So it's like, I mean, it's like discipline is instilled in you. Them, you know, island parents, That's anybody that got a Jamaican parent, any island parent, like yeah. they're not playing. You didn't got beat with shoes and <laughs> shoes, cords, anything, anything. They, anything in reach at that time. Exactly. You know I so, said that before too, so, so I mean, it's confirmed. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, um, amongst that, you know, it's just, it's just staying on the right path. They try to keep you on the right path, you know, it's, you know, you can, it's, the food, you yes. eat good food, so you gon' you gonna have some you gonna have and some have good some healthy good, bones. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? You gonna eat some good food. Um and I mean it's just like growing up in an American home versus being in a Jamaican home or, or island or parents from the island, it's just like it's a little less leeway. Right. You see what I'm saying? It's like it's no gray area oh, at all. It's black. Or it's white. It's Period. no confusion. <laughs> the confusion is what gets you in trouble. Right, right, exactly. right. So my um, my dad pretty cool though. You know, I um, you know the way that he 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 dealt with us it was kind of like you know he just put us on game, let us know what right. what not to do, yeah, and we still did it anyway. You feel what I'm saying? But exactly. still, you know, as a part of growing up. But I mean, I feel like. Growing up in, in that type of home, I'm raising my kids the same way. Exactly. You know, so. Same discipline, everything. Yeah. So, you know, we did go to high school together. Shout out to everybody from Stevenson. Yeah. Seemed like everybody from Stevenson doing great I'm things. I'm talking about turn. Shout out to who, who, who do Jid. Who yes, else? Jid. Who else we Jay got Reed. NFL we players. Jay Reed. Reed. Oh, man, we got all kind of folks going. Everybody's crazy. going crazy. Shout out to boy Bruce. Shout out there, boy. Oh, man, I could keep going. I could go on and on. That's a lot of... Yeah. The east side itself. Whew. That's exactly. even worse. It's getting crazy. Yeah. For real. So, you started off doing basketball, though. Yeah. What made you transition into having a music career? I've been doing music my whole life, even with playing sports. Sports took over for a while because, you know, I was, I was decent. So, sports took over for a while. But I've been doing music my whole life. Um... While I was still in high school, we went on um, 106 in Park and won three times in a row. So that was when they was doing the songs. They was doing it like, you know, they had the freestyle se segment where you did your freestyle. Then they had it where you did the song. And whoever song was hotter at the time, you move on. Yeah. Yeah, we performed three times. And my brother, uh, my brother was going hard on the mic at that time. So, and I was just involved with what was going on. You know yeah. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to SS, you know what I'm saying? Got you. Shout out to D Rock. That's my other brother. He's an MTV star. I gotta shout him out. So, what exactly does hip hop mean to you? Who are some of your influences? Tell me. Um, hip hop means everything. I mean, um, like I said, 
I've been doing music my whole life, and you know, being from being from Brooklyn, Flatbush, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like that's like the staple of hip hop, New York. You know right. what I'm saying? Um, and it's like without hip hop, I mean, now nowadays it's a little different because you know of the type of music that's out. It's a it's 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 a little different. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I I. I I appreciate some of the new music that's out, you know what I'm saying? But okay. it's a little different. Um, but I'm used to hip hop, you know, like telling a story, motivation, motivating you, you know what I'm saying? Like helping you get through whatever situation you got going on, the songs that you could go back and listen to or songs that'll be coming out, you know, that back in that era where right. you know, you know, you're gonna have you gonna have you you'll be able to you get know, a message. Period. Okay. It had, you know, so some of my influences, I mean Biggie Pop. Jay Z, I, I want to work with Rock Nation so bad. Yes, but that's we, another story. You got speaking into the that's, atmosphere right. so it can happen. Right. So we're gonna be working with Rock Nation. So we will be. In Jesus we will name. Be. So, but um, um, so would you say? I mean, not to cut you off. Okay. I don't want to disrespect none of the so the southern artists either. Like exactly. Chip, Jeezy, you know, Gucci, you know, Luda. Outcast, you know, paved the way for the South, Atlanta in, in general. You know what I'm saying? So, because really, the South is really taking over. Oh man, the the oh, North man. is really. I mean, I I would say they're still running the music game a little bit, for but sure. the South really on, has man. it on lock. Future, lot. Future Audible, Migos, man, Migos, shout out Migos. You know, right? QC going crazy. They like a powerhouse. They, they a powerhouse are. label at this point. So it's mm -hmm. like shit. Shout out to them, man. Do putting on for the city. I can't be mad. Can I? Mm -hmm. So why? How would you th say that your music is different from different from the Migos and Future and everybody else in such a saturated market like Atlanta? Um. What well, first of all, fresh? well, I got I got an island taste to my music. I put okay. a lot of um, Jamaican lingo in my music, um, which a lot of artists, you know, just can't go back and forth like that. So I think that separates me um, a lot off rip. All right. But um. I think um, I'm I'm a lot I'm lyrical as well, so it's like you know, shout out to everybody doing their thing, but it's like a lot of music right now ain't much lyrical content. It's just more so vibe and you know people just feeling what what's going on on the record at that point. But it ain't a lot of lyrical content other than you know the the well known lyrical people right. Kendricks and your J Coles and you know them like that. But it's like. Um, that's what makes me different. The fact that I got an island taste to my music. I put a lot of Jamaican reggae lingo in, in what's going on. And I got a southern taste too. Yeah. And, and, and I got the New York. York. Yeah, yeah, so it's, it's like, like a mixture. A of, melting pot. Right. So um but yeah, I think that I think that's what makes me different, um, from from majority of music that's out there. Mine has a lot of a lot of substance to it, you know. That's what's up. Hopefully it's it good to better. listen to something that means something every now and then instead of Right. Same old turn up thing. I got to turn up too now. Okay. No. Well, you know, you know every now and then no. you yeah. got to, got to turn up. <laughs> yeah. Keep the balance going. <laughs> For sure. Um, so STM, tell me about that. You know, what does that mean? I know still talking money. Everybody should know that that's what that means in that aspect. But what is your brand about? STM still talking blood clot money. Nah, but um. It's crazy how STM even got started. It got started because I was in the booth recording and I I, I shouted out, "Still talking money" as an ad lib, right. like on, on some regular, on not even trying to make it anything. Then over time, just listening to the records that we had, it just came in my head. It was like that'd be kind of dope if it was like something we centered around that you don't really hear that often. But it, money relates to everything that's going on in the world. So, right. um, so we made it STM, still talking money at that point. Um, and really, we represent a lot of different things. I mean, it ain't even about the money. You know what I'm saying? It's more so about the grind, the hustle, what it takes to get there. You feel what I'm saying? Not having to depend on nobody else. Being able to get to that level of, of where you need to get to on your own. You know what I'm saying? Because people ain't here to help you these days anyway. You got to find your way through the dirt. And then, you know, at that point, like, you, like we talked about earlier, everybody will be on your team then. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's we represent 
like I said, the grind, the hustle, what it takes to get there, to get to any point, not just music, you know what I'm saying, sports, politics, whatever it's going to take you to get to that point that you want to be at, that's what we represent. And um, So do you see any, like, philanthropy coming out of your brand, like giving back to the youth um, or homeless or anything like that? Yeah, definitely. Um, we, uh, every time around Thanksgiving, we go down to the Grady Curve right there where all the homeless, all yeah. the homeless at, and... We make, you know, my mom, she cooked that good hot Jamaican food and, yes. and set them straight, you know what I'm saying? And we get out there and we pass out all the food. And so I've been doing that way before music. Since we was little, she's making us go do that. So that's what's up. That's, that's normal. I mean, other than that, I mean, I plan on like building a gym, you know. I um I, I built the studio. um So, you know, being able to have artists come in here and work, you know, that that's a form of giving back as well, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Not taxing, not taxing like mm -hmm. everybody else. You have actually scratching their back. Right, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, I want to build like a gym, like a a, a, a recreation like center, like where you could hoop and work out and yeah. swim and you know like a big. It's, it's like a dollar to get in every day. Oh, that's just, just a little just, membership yeah, type thing. Literally just giving it back to you know what I'm saying. Let me know if you so. need some partners on that. Oh man, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna have the events popping. Um, so do you think it's beneficial signing to a label at this you know at this point of your career or at this day and age where you see a lot of artists that's really being successful that's independent, especially with Yo Gotti, um, Migos at one point was independent. Do you think mm -hmm. signing to a label is really that important right now? Um, not right now at this point, um, because I feel like, um, even though the interest that I'm getting, mm -hmm. you know, I'm thankful for that, but it's like, I need to, um, build my momentum a little more, exactly. you know, create that demand a little more to kind of, you know, leverage and bargain a little bit better for what I really want versus it's just being given something and taking advantage of because they know you dope and they can make this off of you. But yeah, it's and early you in won't the game, even get so, anything right, from it, you right. know. Sometimes so, about God's pace instead of your pace. Right. So you so, know, sometimes people jump into those different deals and it'd be like, "Well, what happened?" <laughs> right. So yeah, you you gotta just you gotta work, man. You gotta work. You gotta really, really build and really get that fan base going to really create that demand to where you can. You know, yeah, you know, say I want this exactly. instead of just taking this because you, 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 you ain't you get, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, so, right, 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 right. Nah, That's not right. Right now, you know, the independent route is is the best way to go. Get you some good distribution. And mm -hmm. Get that good music out there. So, so we talking about you know people not wanting to scratch each other's back in this industry. Mm -hmm. What would you say some of the hardships that you went through um, while coming up? Man, oh man, it's a list of how that get crazy. Give us the top two. All right, so no matter how dope your music is or how dope your records are, no matter how many hundreds of people or how many people in higher positions confirm that your music is dope, it's people that can press a button, make a phone call, do a small gesture to propel your situation. You see what I'm saying? Right. But... They want an arm and a leg for it, number one. For no, number two, they want an arm and a leg for it. You feel what I'm saying? I feel you. And it's like, for some reason, they feel like you just can't help somebody. Like, I, like you in position to make a phone call. That ain't going to cost you no money. That ain't going to stress you in no kind of way. That don't, put you, that don't make you go out your way any more so than just dialing a couple numbers and saying, hey, I know this person. He lit. See what you think. Exactly. You ain't even got to guarantee no artist that they'll be able to make a next step in that situation if you try to position them in any kind of way. You don't have to guarantee that it's going to go. But it's like, bro, there's so many people that just be around that can make that just do this. And that's not even for artists. That's for everybody. Right. People in film, people, actors, um, you know, musicians, people that produce. You know, it's just like, it's people that can press them buttons and it's like... Nowadays, it's like, oh, you got to already have a million followers. It's like, bro, when I get there, what I need you for? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, now I'm calling the shots. It's like, it's, and you really appreciate the ones that do genuinely help you at this stage before you get to that point where it's like, I don't need no help. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? You too late. Come on, bro. Day late, dollar short. And, and the other thing is music. It's like, 
a lot of people that you would think know good music, like substance, like this is like they done fell into the time of now, which is you know the whole melodical and the whole just vibe type of music, which is cool, but it's like you pushing away the substance rappers, the rappers that really like send a message to the kids. Kids want to know more about just, you know, the regular things that we talking about. It's kids want to know more about that. They want to know how, how you were struggling when you was in high school or how you was going through it when you had to walk to the bus stop and, and hope you don't get robbed. You feel what I'm saying? Or yeah. how, you know, kids want to know that they can relate to the things that they're a lot going of kids in the right struggle. Exactly. It's more than just, you know, Flash yeah, and it's more AP than just yeah, it's, and all that other stuff. It's 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 the substance too. Is like I mean I feel like it's turning the corner. It's it's a time for everything, and I mean right now, I mean you can't really you can't really hate on nobody that's doing their thing. You feel what I'm saying? What right. works for you works for you. But exactly. it's like that's the two things I come across a lot. It's like man, folks don't want good music. And I ain't even just talking about myself. I'm just talking about in general at mm -hmm. this point. It's like you just hear good records, and it's like. For the bread, for the arm and the leg, he'll play the the, the trash. You exactly. feel what I'm saying? Yep. Versus, you know, actually feel taking some, a, yeah, you know, taking a risk and, and really being like, bro, yeah, like you know, I fuck you, with your song. I'm gonna music, play it. Come on, the music would be a lot better if you told some artists that it wasn't good, and they go go back to the drawing board. You exactly. ain't gotta be disrespectful. Everybody to just, just kind of scared to be honest these days. Yeah, and it's like, I mean, it's, so we will rap for food. I know you got another. I know you're about to drop another project coming up soon, but the Part first two. one you did, I saw on Instagram where you was going to the different fast food restaurants rapping for food. Whose idea was that? Um, that was an idea that myself and my team came up with, you okay. know, because um, you know, just trying to be different. And we'll rap for food too coming, so we got some upcoming restaurants. Y'all finna see some brand new restaurants. Um, we don't want to leak it yet, but. Okay. They just know Eric, we got y'all in for a surprise. But yeah, um, doing that was fun though. That's fun. I mean, I I mean I I take rapping and writing music seriously. So it's like, and I take it it's fun as well. So yeah. it's like being able to create the different rhymes and you know the different bars that go for the different restaurants and having to do them differently because all the restaurants got fries and burgers and drinks. It's like you got to be able to get in depth with that menu and, and separate what's going on but yeah I mean um we got some more coming up though it's right now Chick-fil-A my favorite one you know? Chick-fil-A everybody Chick loves Chick-fil-A though you got to love Chick-fil-A we yeah. all love Chick-fil-A so you know with this new project you know what's really inspiring this new project what's the what kind of songs or what's the message behind this new project if you could tell us you know what kind of music are we going to be hearing about well, what are you going to be talking about um, well, really, this second project coming up is just a part two, an extension of the first one. Um, and it's a little different message, but it's the same thing. We, we, we rapping for food. We're going we gonna to rap and hustle with the music right. until we can eat like we want to. You right. feel what I'm saying? Yeah, and I love that too. And it's like that same message in part two. It's like, also, you get a little bit more of the melodical side of how we could do things, you know what I'm saying? In part one, it was a lot of hard rapping and bars, and part two is it's good bars in there too. But it's like we trying to show y'all to blend the mess, you know? We could we could adapt with the times too, so exactly, you know, so we could do it all. That's 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 what part two represents as well. So um, cause I like the Eminem song, but that's not out yet, is it? No, that's just a snippet. You just heard the one minute of it. Yeah. Well, I heard you perform it. So. Oh, oh, you heard the whole thing. Oh, yeah, okay. so, so you, you know, you I heard a little. Else going on yeah. For okay. So I'm just trying <laughs> to see what that was about. You yeah. know. Um, that was just like a tribute, kind of sort of to Eminem. Um, I, I, you know, Eminem was one of my favorite artists growing up. Um, Eight Mile is one of my favorite movies, ever. So, okay. Um, I was listening to the, a beat one day that was sent to me, and I just. That's how you felt. It just came day. out of nowhere, for real. And I channeled the inner Eminem. He pulled up on me. I don't know where yet, but he was here for that second. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that song is hard. <laughs> Appreciate that. It's coming um, out on the, on, the, on the upcoming project, part two. Yes, make sure y'all check that song out. It's really hard. All right, well, bro, we appreciate you letting us come and invade your space for a little while. Mm -hmm. But 
tell everybody out there watching right now how can they follow you you know when the tape dropping where can they get it at just let everybody know everything they need to know right now STM still talking money we everywhere Instagram at underscore STM row you feel what I'm saying STM underscore row <laughs> I was going to say yeah you know we'll I smoked a, a little bit I smoked a little bit before this meeting so whatever but yeah STM underscore row on Instagram Twitter all social media all social media um, we on iTunes Spotify title everywhere you want to listen to music go type in STM row and you're going to get everything you want to get listen STM row put the underscore in between it when we talking about social media other than that we everywhere. Look it up. I ain't lying. If, I, if I'm lying, tell me I'm lying. Well, who gonna look it up? All right, make sure y'all go out there, look it up. STM Row, Aisha, Nightmare Projects. Appreciate y'all for tuning in.